still reading? I've taken a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. Is it, uh, Mrs. Adler? fun? It's amazing. It's the reason we're living. It's the only thing that makes me happy. So, the only thing that makes you happy is being in your head somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. You never read? No, I never fancied it. But you can. Well, I could. If I chose to. I've just not chosen to. <laughs> well, maybe one of us will teach you. Evening. Evening, Arthur. Miss Jaffel. You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. All right, then. It's been a real pleasure. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, and I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I disagree! Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert! Know that. <laughs> <laughs> a 
But what do you reckon, Morgan? I reckon you two are made for each other. <laughs> made for each other? <laughs> Quite a day. There he is. Mr.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the nah, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Oh. Ah. Where is it? Oh. oh, no. No, nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to hair Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. Money, but but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's it's Warsaw, Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Very valuable. Good? Not good yet. You must have come here with something. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. The longer I look, the madder I get. Nie rób tego! I need! I must eat! Proszę! Okay, that should about cover things.
Yeah. There we go. Sorry, girl. from the wagon, sir. Transporting so, a fugitive. The hell do you think you're doing? Shut up and keep still! I never robbed Ooh, a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a headache! Am I glad you showed up when you did? I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady who collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies I hear. <laughs> might be something there for you. <laughs> oh. Thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. There, girl. Here.
You Chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? You might want to talk to that fella over there. Now, I'm just here to work for the season. You Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, Long Shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back! You owe us money! Yeah! Last chance to save your hand! Stop! But it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. You're no place to bargain, boy. <sighs> Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Blow me down. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Aren't you gonna untie me? You'll find there everything. I promise. Come on, girl. Easy there. Come on, girl. Yep. Whoa. Hold still, girl. Thank you. 
Let's go, girl. Okay there. Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now, lay off it, Lily. God damn it! Lily! Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murders! Son of a bitch! Uh. Everything that you find on him and let's be done. 
done with this, please. Now. You stop, goddammit! Oh, load of both! I'm not a damn cow! Relax. Got me all hot for what, then? Do I have to bear? Morning, partner. Hello? Please, I'm trapped.
Let's go. Yep. Yep. as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh, oh.
Oh, yes, Mr. Please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live okay, there. Okay, girl. No problem. Get him. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. Yep. I would borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. Yep. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. And now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Close now, just a little further. Where, where was I? Hello, mister. Hey there. We don't want no more trouble around here. <laughs> Sir? We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir. Hey. Hello. Hey, partner. Hello. That's a nice horse. Hey, thanks. Hey, get moving. All right, easy now. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, all the best. All right, bye.
Hello, Arthur. Hey. What are you doing? Are you home? What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're reading. And I am. And how do you ask? Just making conversation. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know.
sorry. I should go focus on my devotional. Come on, girl. See any welcome sign around here? Go on with you. Get out of my sight. Now. Yeah. Stop on by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. And nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler.
I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you.
Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Arthur. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. What are you getting off for? that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. 
Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Shanus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. Everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. Get back on the path. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Take it easy, Arthur. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Why aren't we on the damn road? Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Alright. Miss Joe. 